Hello Virgo! Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for August 2021. This is going to be a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, angels, divine spirits, and guides. Show me the messages for my Virgo friends, please, for August 2021. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, I'm going to take that one. And we'll take one more from this deck. Show me Virgo, please. August. Are you not speaking to someone, Virgo? See? You must not be, because they usually want me to acknowledge that when there's nothing coming out of the deck. And then as soon as I acknowledge the fact that you're not speaking to someone, then the cards come out. <laughs> All right. How many is that? Okay, we'll take them. Let's see. Dagger. Fear, worry, intense situations. That's not good. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Virgo, uh-oh. Chain of events that will affect your life. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. You may be worried about money. If you have fear and worry and then next to the money card and they're telling you not to worry, a major challenge to overcome. Okay. So, right now, I, I don't like to uh, talk too much about the tea leaf cards because I find that they have different meanings once the cards come out. So, let's see what we get from the tarot, and we'll talk about them along the way. We have, oh, the hermit reversed. That's you, Virgo. Okay, so the hermit reversed is someone who is done thinking, done analyzing, done researching, done spending time alone. They're ready to come out of the cave. They're ready to talk. They're ready to move forward with something, with whatever they have thought about, okay? If you are a single Virgo, you may be making a decision to get back out there and start meeting people again. All right, the challenge position, Virgo, is the two of wands reversed. So that is Aries energy. Usually a two that is reversed to me is indicates that a decision has been made here. All right, you're done your thinking. You're no longer standing at the crossroads. You made your decision and you know what you're going to do. The base of the reading, we have the six of wands reversed, which is Leo energy. That, that card means so many things, but... Something may not have been successful. You may not have gotten the attention or recognition that you deserved from something. In the past, we have the Nine of Wands reversed, Sagittarius energy. That is, I give up. Um, I'm not going to stand here anymore. I'm exhausted. I can't do this. I'm giving up the fight. Uh, something... A relationship may not be working out here. You may not be getting the attention or the recognition. You may feel unappreciated from a person, so you've decided to give up. Um, crowning the reading, Five of Cups. So, Scorpio energy. So you're accepting the loss. You're accepting that something didn't work out. You've done all of your thinking. There could be a snake here. I just noticed a snake. All right. Um... But you are deciding to just, it, it, it's like you're done healing or something. Like you're like, you know what, I'm just going to move on and I'm over it. I'm done healing. I've accepted it. In the forward position, we have the King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. That, once again, could be so many things. Someone who's not taking action, someone whose confidence is down, someone who is a player, or someone who is overly angry, or even controlling. King of Wands could be... King of Wands could be a controlling boss that maybe you've decided that 
You're not getting the attention or recognition that you deserve at work. You're done thinking. You made this decision. You're giving up. You're just accepting it. It's not It's not happening. Maybe we'll pull a clarifier on that. I don't know if I have my minis here. Two of Swords is reversed also. Libra energy. This is your roller attitude. Decision made. I'm seeing the light. I'm seeing clearly. I know what I'm going to do. I spent a lot of time thinking about this situation. And I've made my decision. All right, roller attitude of the other person, eight of pentacles. This could absolutely be a career for some of you. That is Virgo energy. When this comes up, all right, we'll talk about that in a minute. That's because sometimes this is learning lessons. You may have had to teach someone a lesson here. Uh, your hopes or fears, Virgo, nine of cups in reverse, Pisces energy. That is, um, it's unhappiness, but that's your fear. You're afraid that you're either not going to get what you want or you're afraid that your wishes aren't going to come true and your final outcome. Whoa, nice Virgo, 10 of Pentacles. I don't care what anybody says. 10 of Pentacles in the upright position is a strong, solid, stable foundation and it is money, all right? The underside of the deck is the Hierophant reversed and the chariot, you're moving on. You're moving on. You're cutting all ties from something. You're going in some type of new direction. Eight of Wands, very quickly. This is happening very fast. Okay, let's put that up there. Taurus energy, Cancer energy. Some of you may be even uh, moving into a new home. Okay, well, you've definitely done a lot of thinking and you've come to some type of conclusion. Maybe you even did some research about this new path that you've chosen. You've chosen a new path here. The problem is, is that you're worried about it. You're worried that you're not going to be happy. You're worried that you're not going to get what you want. You're worried that things aren't going to work out, but that's what you do, Virgo, you worry. <laughs> things will not always be this way. A change is coming. There's your 10 of Pentacles. Whatever you have researched and decided to do, you are, you're making some type of huge change in your life. And I feel like it's going to be long term. I feel like it's going to be successful. You may have chosen to change jobs or some of you may have even decided to quit a job and work from home. Um, but the 10 of Pentacles is, it's, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of effort to get to the Ten of Pentacles. Danger, especially in money matters. I feel like that's what your fear is. I feel like you're standing there and you're saying to yourself, okay, because you might not even be taking action, but I feel like this is a person you're dealing with. Um, I, once again, I'm, I'm kind of leaning back towards the job thing, Virgo. There's someone here there's a person here who's very, I mean, this could be arrogance. This is controlling, rude, obnoxious. Uh, a person who is taking credit for something that you did or taking your spotlight. Like somebody here really wants to be the center of attention and they don't care who they hurt. And I feel like they have hurt you in some way because it has forced you into some type of decision. You may have been in denial about this decision for a long time, but finally you have decided to make some type of move. Now the King of Wands in reverse can also signify someone who isn't taking action right now. But the Hierophant in reverse is also a very arrogant person. It's my way or the highway. Um, this is this is cutting all ties. This is getting a divorce. This is the end of some type of contract that you were in. So the chariot is underneath that. You're moving forward. You're going in some type of new direction. The eight of wands. You're ready. Ain't no stopping me now. I'm on the move. I've, you know, I've done all of everything that I needed to do and I'm ready to go. Now, the chariot sometimes signifies to me that someone is being pulled into two different directions. So it's like you've woke up in the morning and you said, you know what, today's the day. I've decided that I'm going to go into this new direction, but you're still hesitating. 
you're trying to get away from a person that I don't like this person's energy at all. Um, let's pull you some romance angels and see where this is going. Show me additional messages for Virgo, please. Additional messages for Virgo. Let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I apologize, guys. I had a little bit of an interruption. Um, let go of control. I don't know if I finished what I was going to say about that card. That is about surrendering to the universe. The universe is trying to push you to do something that I do feel like maybe you've been in denial about it for a while and now it's like you're seeing the light allow this situation to unfold naturally is stop worrying Virgo whatever you're doing you're going to be fine I feel like there's a little bit of strategy here it's almost like because only because of this nine of cups that is um let me put these back because i wasn't ready hold on this nine of cups you're afraid you're not going to get what you want I, I feel like you have some type of plan here almost like let's say you're in a relationship and you're not getting the attention from this person that you deserve you're not appreciated you're not whatever you're, you're tired and you want to give up you know you said I I've just I'm beating a dead horse here I'm not getting anywhere I, I'm just making this decision that I, I want to end this commitment whatever it is and you go and you communicate it to this other person now you're telling them uh, eight of wands chariot I'm leaving I'm moving on you know it's almost like you're kind of wondering if this person is going to try and keep you and give you what you want. Ten of Pentacles. This may have something to do with money, stability, or a long-term relationship because a King of Wands is someone who won't commit to something. And I almost feel like you're doing something drastic here, like saying, well, you know, you've pushed me to the point where I have no choice but to walk away and see if you chase after me and see if you come and give me what I want if that's the case I do feel like you're going to get it because the eight of pentacles is in the roller attitude of the other person and they want to work on this they want to put effort into this they want to see if this can be fixed show me Virgo please now the five of cups in reverse can also signify an apology so it looks like, show me Virgo, engagement, <laughs> that's what this is. You, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You've been with a person for a long time that wouldn't move in with you, wouldn't get engaged, wouldn't get married, wouldn't give you what you wanted. And now that you've decided to leave this person, they're in complete panic mode. Show me Virgo. They are like, oh my gosh, she's really leaving. She's really moved on to another person. Now what am I going to do? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I think there's going to be forgiveness here. An apology, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation as well. Hmm. So if you've had a plan, if you plan this, because the Hermit in Reverse can signify someone who has done a lot of research, spent a lot of time alone, and came up with something, but I don't see any mischievousness here. It's just almost that you, um, there's a saying that goes for what this is. Uh, I, the only one I can really come up with at this point is if you love something, set it free. Because it looks like that's what you're doing. And if it comes back to you, if it comes back to you, keep it and love it forever, which is this engagement in this long term relationship here. If it doesn't come back to you, you know, then just accept the loss and move on. But this person's coming back. Someone that you've let go because of whatever their ways were uh 
you know, it can be anything. It could be an addiction. It could be, um, it could be someone who's just controlling and doesn't allow you to have any freedom. It could be someone that just won't take the relationship to the next level, which is what I'm feeling here. Let's get you some more information. Show me Virgo, please. Show me Virgo. Additional messages for Virgo. I feel like you're definitely dealing with a fire sign. You're tired of some type of action that has been going on for too long. Magnetic, unexplainable pull can't resist. And lockdown, mental prison confined. All right, give me one more. You're leaving unexplainable pull. You have this unexplainable pull to what? To another person? I feel like this is them. You may be, by telling this person that you're leaving, you may have, you, you really put this person into a mental prison here. They just don't know what to do. I feel like somebody, reconciliation, two or more people, discussions, planning. You're going to get what you want, Virgo. I mean, it's so, it, <laughs> this reading is just so clear. This is, this, uh, um, gosh, there is another saying for if you love something, set it free, that I, I'm trying uh, and I can't put my finger on it right now. Show me, Virgo. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. If you, if some of you have decided to change jobs because you weren't getting the recognition from your employer, they're going to give it to you now. And you're going to get a big fat raise. I don't know what that Ten of Pentacles is, but it could signify a house, marriage, moving in together, money, long-term, stable. Uh, it's just that you're... Do you see you're worried about this decision that you're making? Show me more for Virgo. I feel like this is work. What do you have in your sixth house? Let me look at... Oh, sorry. Okay. You guys have Saturn in your sixth house, huh? There's an authority figure here that's... Um, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. See, this person has a huge ego, arrogance. They think that they are all that in a bag of chips, and you're running away. You know, I'm not doing this anymore. It's so clear. Show me one more for Virgo. One more for Virgo. You're taking some type of risk here. Yep, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. That could be what this per person could be um, just giving you a whole bunch of one night stands. King of Wands in reverse is someone who just desires freedom. And so you have, you have options here. And that's what you're exploring with this uh, hermit and this two of swords. You've looked at all of your options. The hierophant can be keys as well. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. The hermit can be single. Um, there's something about keys here. Could be keys to a home. You could be kicking someone out of your home. Or you could be moving in with a friend. Hmm. All right, what was on the bottom of this deck? Did we look? Entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. You're pulling on somebody's heartstrings. Well, they're trying to pull on your heartstrings with money. Somebody now wants to give you whatever it is that you want. All right, let's get you some advice, Virgo. Looks like you're winning the battle here. 
Five of Pentacles. There are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. I'm not sure why that's coming up, but that Five of Pentacles is an abandonment card. It's leaving someone out in the cold. Now, if this is... Um, what I said earlier, someone who is quitting their job and starting a home-based business, that's why this person's coming back and offering you a lot of money because the angels see that you're suffering and they know that you need a hand, so you're going to get the money that you want. Uh, but it says not the right time to become self-employed, so maybe you're not, it's not divine timing in order for you to leave your job yet. Do you understand that? All right, show me Virgo, please. Me, Virgo. Someone's going to stop you from moving on. It looks like you're trying to be single, you're trying to leave, and you're having a good time. And this person is like, Oh, no, you're not. Come back here. Here's what, it, what you want. Here's the house you want. Here's the money you want. Here's whatever it is. A win-win solution. There's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. There's negotiations here. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and open your mind to compromise and work together. That's what this is. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. That's also patience. If, oh, and there's the Queen of Pentacles, never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. The situation involves a person who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. Some of you may have been deciding to do some type of interior design or decorating homes or something to that effect but queen of pentacles upright position ten of pentacles upright position you're going to be fine you're getting exactly what you want virgo show me virgo final message please for virgo milestone reversed now, look, and the decrease card is reversed too. When the decrease card is reversed, it means it's an increase. You're getting an increase of some money. Money's coming your way, Virgo. Milestone, you know, I'm wondering if, um, see, you haven't, let's read this from the book. But a milestone is like, let's say someone's at the end of their career and they want to retire. That would be when you've reached your milestone and you get your awards your recognition and you move on to the next thing but for some reason this came out reversed let's see what it says in the book i feel like it's not divine timing for you to do whatever this is and that's why the universe is like oh no we're gonna have to send so and so to come get you because what you're doing is not divine timing right now it's not that it's not ever going to happen it's just that it's not at this moment uh what is this event no. sorry guys this book is strange the way that they have it set up i'm curious what this says in reverse milestone okay reversed this card reversed could indicate that some celebration is being delayed or even canceled altogether. While this may be disappointing to you, remember that although the event isn't happening as planned, a milestone still exists and should be acknowledged in your heart. On another level, when this card is reversed, you could find yourself looking back at your life and wishing you had done some things differently in the past. If so, it's time to start considering the steps you have to take in order to make that life-changing decision, life decision now. 
which it looks, I said, you have a life-changing decision here. You may not feel quite ready, but that time of inner achievement is calling to you now. Each day can be a new milestone for you. Choose honoring thoughts and behaviors. Create joy and optimism now. Celebrate your eternal truth and know that this very life is a milestone for your soul. So your milestone has not been reached yet. Something is getting delayed. Now, an, a canceled event, I feel like the canceled event is just whatever you, it is that you had planned to do. Like, okay, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to move to, you know, another state. And somebody's stopping you. Like, the sun, your sun, your yourself, you're saying, this is where I'm going to shine. This is what I'm going to do. Like, the sun is your ego. And then Saturn is saying, mm, no, you're not. And that's happening in your career sector and your endings, 12th house and 6th house. I mean, the 12th house, I mean, the 6th house isn't always career, but it could be co-workers, employees, things like that. I, I really feel like this is a work reading for some of you. But anyway, with that said, it looks like this is going to have a very happy outcome for both of you. This person seems to want to change and want to give you whatever it is that you want. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation. It looks beautiful, and I will see you soon.